what's up everybody it's nightwing2303 coming at you with another review i um, wasn't planning on doing this review because um, i didn't pick mine up today but uh, my friend brought over these for me today to do a sneaker review the citrus nines just dropped this morning and um, i'm just going to tell you guys what i think about them uh, real quick all right so real quick you have your white outsole you have um, glossy black paint around the midsole all the way around you have your mud guard here goes all the way up and around the shoe and around the back tab um, it's a glitter material similar to the OG colorway the white black and red um, this is not 3m okay people are saying this 3m it's not 3m if you don't believe me take a flash to it and uh, on your camera and if it if it shines it's 3m if it doesn't shine it's not 3m I already tested this out myself and it's not 3m so um, everybody's saying that it is they're wrong um, synthetic leather upper this leather is much softer and much more forgiving than the powder blue nines. So um, I actually would recommend to pick these up uh, versus those shoes if you're if you're going to buy buy a pair. Um, I think the only pair of the nines that I'm planning on getting this month or uh, this year I should say is the OG colorway because I missed the countdown pack. And um, given that the leather grade up here is uh, you know better quality, um, that's probably going to be my next Jordan pickup. Um, unless I hit up eBay or something like that. Um, then you have your speed lacing system all the way up the entire shoe. You have your sock liner, the inner boot. And um, like I was saying on my last video with the LeBron 7s, and I pointed this out on the Jordan 9 powders as well, you have uh, the, new, the new tab there that they have not done on, um, on other shoes uh, from Jordan brand. They've only done them on the 9 so far this year. I don't know why, but um, if they don't have that logo above them um, here, if the tab, if the, the, the uh, what do you call it, if that thing doesn't have the jump man on it, they're fake, okay? So that's, that's what I wanted to say. Um, and you got your heel pull tab here, you have your 2-3 stitched in on the back. They did a great stitching job on these shoes. Honestly, there's, there's a few very, very minor flaws on this shoe. Um, just a couple of like scratches and things like that. Uh, the glue is not all over the place like it was on previous releases And like I said the stitch work is almost perfect um, And then you have your your emblem here with the globe uh, behind the jump man um, Everybody keeps saying that this is uh, to represent the glo globalization of Jordan brand um, I'm sorry, but you guys are wrong. It's uh, it was uh, originally back in 94 supposed to represent the globalization of the game of basketball um, it just so happened that back in that time frame Jordan was a beast and uh, you know he was you know the NBA basically um, even though he did not play in this shoe um, he was just recognized worldwide and um, helped bring basketball all the way overseas um, but before Kobe before LeBron all of that stuff Jordan was the one that you know people watch him in, in Europe and in China um, all over the place, all over the place. So um, that that's what that's what this shoe is supposed to represent: the globalization of basketball, um, not the the Jordan brand itself. Uh, Jordan did not become a brand until uh, I believe the Jordan 12 and 13. So um, the Jordan 12, I believe, was the first time it was its own brand um, off of Nike, and the uh, Jordan 13 was the first time where they actually put the Jordan uh, sneakers in a specific Jordan box versus the um, the old black and uh, red cardboard Nike box. Um, it's a good shoe. I tried it on real quick. Still not very comfortable. Um, still feels very stiff. Uh, the midsole is softer here um, than the powder blue nines, but um, you know you saw my review. Hopefully of the uh, LeBron Seven Lows, uh, the the Dunkman type colorway, and those shoes are much more comfortable and they're cheaper than this. But um, if you're into the Jordans and things like that, this is definitely a, a I wouldn't say a must buy, but if you like it, then definitely buy it because it is worth it. Um, again, the leather grade on here is much nicer. It's um, not as great as some of the other stuff, but um, it's still pretty pretty darn good. Um, I don't think these are going to sell out. So these might end up going on clearance um, eventually, um, but I'm not I'm not positive on that. I'm pretty sure the powders are because I see those everywhere, um, full size runs and all that stuff. Um, all the soles on the shoes look exactly the same. So, you know, you can only do so many reviews on the same shoe and point out the same exact features, and it kind of gets repetitive and boring. So I'm just gonna try to keep this real straight, real simple, um, real clean. 
it's a good shoe. It's a great looking shoe. Um, the photos online really don't do this colorway justice. Um, this colorway is really just, it's really nice. Um, the, the orange here, or the citrus, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of like a sherbet type color. Um, it's just like a really weird off orange. I've not seen orange that looks like this on other things. Um, I believe Greg Street did a video. Don't quote me on the name there, but um, he's got fitteds and stuff like that. So I'm sure if you go to like a hat shop and stuff like that, you can get your gear on for these. But um, yeah, this is uh, the Jordan 9 Retro dropped today. Citrus colorway. Very nice shoe. Not 3M material. It is not 3M. Um, I'm going to show you the box real quick. These are size 10. I told you guys already these are not mine. These are my friends. Um, if, uh, if your stuff doesn't have the, um, the tab here, it could be fake. If it does have a tab but no perforations there, also could be fake. Um, you got to really study this stuff here. Um, the, the look of it, uh, the number, fonts, the size, everything, and it will really help you guys out. Alright, have a good weekend. Take care.